This was launched in Canada just over a month ago and it has been a hit ever since. Google spent months mapping and photographing the Lower Mainland to create Street View. It allows users to search an address and not only get a map of their destination but also pictures so that they can actually see where they're going. It's a great tool for both business and personal use and one that will soon have some competition. Ron Bendy explains. Here we are in Google Maps. Just click the Street View button on top and zoom in on the camera icon. They're images that give us a whole new perspective of the world. Sweet! A close look at places that we've never visited before and perhaps would like to. Click on a new spot on the map. And now Microsoft has become the latest player to offer this unique street level imagery, choosing Vancouver and Whistler as the only Canadian cities it's profiling to the world. Vancouver and Whistler right now is uh, under the Olympic funds and uh, the world is coming to Canada and wants to see how Canada looks and uh, we feel that that's a great opportunity to showcase the natural beauty here in the city and in the Whistler area. Like its rival Google Street View, Microsoft's Bing Maps will eventually collect street level photographs of cities across the world. It's already collected images from 50 cities in the U.S. using a specially designed vehicle equipped with as many as 12 cameras to give a 360 degree view. We know that there's other services out there that uh, are doing a very similar thing and we feel that uh, we want to provide that showcase uh, on our particular platform being maps. And it turns out the tiny cameras Microsoft is utilizing were made right here in BC. Burnaby-based Allied Vision Technology supplies cameras to mainly commercial and industrial customers who essentially need their computers to see. Cameras with resolutions of up to 60 megapixels and shoot up to 200 frames a second. It's amazing the different applications of these cameras. They get built into all kinds of equipment uh, from helicopters to space shuttles to uh, Microsoft vans. With all this picture-taking technology, Microsoft says it's sensitive to concerns about what images its cameras pick up, a problem Google has already encountered taking pictures of people in compromising positions or doing things they didn't want others to see them doing. Microsoft is promising to blur out faces and license plates, even removing specific images on request. Yeah, it is absolutely a good way to start, and uh, I haven't had an opportunity to, you know, look at the service myself, but that's something that we'll be doing in the coming days. Microsoft will focus on taking pictures in Vancouver's business and commercial districts first, including areas surrounding Olympic venues. Shooting continues until December 19th.